Hello everyone, we're group A10 and we're presenting on the effect of mating with Neanderthals and Denisovans on our immune systems. I'm Gerald Duncan. Olivia LaHaye. Madeline Leinberger. Kyle Sledge. And Heather Yutko. Before we go into a discussion of the study, it's important to define a few terms. HLA, the focus of the study we'll be looking at, stands for leukocyte antigen and is a set of genes that are important in the response of our immune system. HLA codes for proteins that get rid of potentially dangerous cells. HLA is an example of a haplotype, which means that it's a group of alleles that tend to be passed down together. Variation in HLA leads to variation in the strength of the ligands it codes for. A ligand is a molecule that binds to the receptors on natural killer cells, which are a part of the immune system. These ligands influence the cell's response to foreign threats. In the study we'll be examining, we'll see that people whose ancestors mated with Denisovans, a group that was similar to Neanderthals, seem to have stronger ligands. Another important term to know is balancing selection. This is a type of selection in which multiple alleles for a gene exist, none of which has an overall advantage over the others, so frequency of each allele remains relatively steady. Balancing selection often occurs when there is a good deal of variation in the geographic area inhabited by the population in question, and balancing selection is something that HLA is highly subject to. A couple more terms to be familiar with are introgression and admixture. Introgression consists of gene flow between hybrids and parental populations. This has occurred historically with many species, including, as we'll see, humans. Admixture is the mixing of populations that were formerly unexposed to one another. Now that we've reviewed these concepts, let's move on to the study. In a recent survey led by Stanford University, scientists have examined a spare selection of bones left behind by the Denisovans, a humanoid species. Human migration originally occurred from Africa around 67,500 years ago, and interspecies breeding occurred a little later, around 50,000 years ago. Scientists can trace a maximum of 4% of modern Eurasian genomes back to Neanderthals, and in Asia, a maximum of 4-6% to of modern Malaysian genomes can be traced back to Denisovans. There are thousands of alleles and variations per HLA. Scientists believe that because of their geographical location, Denisovans would have needed to evolve certain immunities to prevent diseases such as malaria. This is a computer-generated model of an HLA-B protein. According to one scientist, Abi Rashid, different populations of people can trace different percentages of HLA deviations back to sexual activity with extinct races. The Europeans can trace around 50%, the Chinese can trace about 70%, and the Papua New Guineans can trace about 95%. 50 through 60 percent of these Chinese inhabitants possess AL11, and very rarely in African regions will you see these alleles. The figures on this slide give evidence of the inheritance of HLA genes from the Denisovan. Figure B at the top left of the slide shows that five of the six Denisovan HLA genes are identical to modern counterparts. C and D at the bottom of the slide are worldwide distributions of the two possible Denisovan HLA haplotype combinations. As you can see, they're both common in Asia, but not in the Sub-Saharan region of Africa. E and G are the distributions of the alleles in modern populations. They're also common in Asia, but absent from Sub-Saharan Africa. The figures on this slide give evidence of modern human inheritance of HLA genes from Neanderthal populations. Figure A at the top left of the slide shows that all six Neanderthal HLA alleles are identical to modern HLA alleles. Figures B and C show that the worldwide distributions of the two possible Neanderthal HLA haplotype combinations. Both are present in Eurasia, but absent from Sub-Saharan Africa. Figures D through G show the distribution of the four Neanderthal alleles that are present in modern human populations. The findings of this article suggest that interbreeding occurred between archaic and modern humans and that this interbreeding caused adaptive introgression of HLA genes. 
HLA alleles play a role in the immune system for either controlling NK cells or T cell immunity. Therefore, the introgression of HLA was advantageous to the modern human because HLA is, a, is vital to the immune system. This introgression was possible because of the polymorphic and haplotype properties of HLA, meaning natural selection allowed for different polymorphs or alleles of HLA to be adapted in modern humans' immune systems. This is significant to the different demographics because the introgression of different alleles led to different immune system adaptations. In conclusion, Modern humans may be able to trace some alleles of their HLA genes back to Neanderthals and Denisovans. Furthermore, these alleles may have contributed to defenses against prevalent local diseases. And here's our literature cited page. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.